we're going to talk about pain and people with learning disabilities. Having physical pain can be a challenging, frightening and life limiting experience. Pain can increase anxiety, impact on sleep and interrupt our everyday functioning. Think of a time you've had a headache, a toothache or joint pain. How did it make you feel? It might have made you more irritable, fed up or just plain grumpy. With learning disabilities, experiencing pain can be more complicated. The person may struggle to communicate that they're in pain, where they are feeling the pain, what it feels like. We know that people with learning disabilities are more likely to have physical health conditions and therefore being alert to pain is even more important. However, it's widely acknowledged that pain is often overshadowed and under-recognised. Access to pain relief can also be a challenge. A person may be reliant on their pain being recognised by others. And then access to that medication is reliant on it being made available to them. We know that people with learning disabilities needs can often be overshadowed by their learning disability. Even though physical health conditions are often more likely. So being alert to pain is essential. We hope that this video will help to highlight some of the issues for people with learning disabilities and how people can be supported to have pain recognised and appropriately treated. What is pain and why think about it? Pain is an issue for everyone and it may relate to behaviour that challenges, safeguarding concerns, physical health issues, someone's mental health and their well-being. Pain can be a really individual experience and people with learning disabilities may communicate pain differently. They may use emotions to describe pain, such as feeling angry, hurt or horrible. For people who do not use verbal language, they may use their behaviour to communicate pain. It's well known that changes in behaviour, increases in anxiety, agitation or changes in mood could well suggest a person is experiencing physical pain. A person with a learning disability may find it hard to tell someone they're in pain. They may cry, whimper or groan, appear sad, stern or with a grimacing face, they may become more aggressive or irritable. A person may display pain by shouting or swearing, starting to harm themselves or generally showing more behaviours that may challenge others. A person may become more quiet and withdrawn, stop engaging in their usual activities or hold the part of their body that is hurting. Does the person stop eating or lose their appetite, struggle to sleep, constantly shifting in bed? There may be many ways that a person communicates pain and it will be specific to them. We might use a number of tools to help us recognise if a person is in pain. A high temperature can also indicate that someone may be unwell. We can use pain scales to help the person explain the pain they're in. Visual prompts can be useful in helping the person communicate where the pain might be. We can use visual prompts to help the person communicate how long they've had the pain. And also what sort of pain it is. Pain can be managed in a number of different ways. It can be managed through medication, in which case good recording of pain medication is essential. Having a plan in place for everybody who has a learning disability is really important. This may be a health action plan, a communication passport, a hospital passport or an individual pain profile. Example of Nick. Nick was 28 years old when he was referred to the community learning disability for an escalation in his self-injurious behaviour. He was banging his head and punching his face. The community learning disability team recommended that a full dose of paracetamol be administered straight away for a number of days. This resulted in a significant reduction in behaviour. 
A subsequent dental check revealed that Nick had an abscess in his mouth, which was causing significant pain. Once this was treated, there was a reduction in distress and behaviour. Recommendations around a pain recognition tool, communication passport and pain profile was essential, including an update of his care plans to remind staff how to recognise when Nick may be in pain. In summary, people with learning disabilities experience pain like everyone else, but they may communicate it differently. There are a number of tools or pain scales out there that may help us to recognise if a person is in pain. Visual prompts can also help the person to communicate more about their pain. We can monitor and manage pain through the use of different charts and scales. It's important to have a plan in place for everyone in case the individual needs to access health services quickly. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for listening.